Five nights on the trot for the second time this year, the soap storylines are really hotting up for both Jackie and Jimmy Corkhill. All right. What have you got there? No. The other hands. You? Don't mess with me, Jimmy. I'm not in the mood. Show me your other hands. Method. I had to do something for him. I can't be on your end for two minutes, can I? What are you thinking of, eh? I couldn't stand it. You saw the state of him down there. God, it's his father's son, all right? It's me. You've got no backbone, have you, Jimmy? You're spineless. You made me go in there. I knew he'd get his claws in, didn't I? Oh, you didn't put the padlock on, did you? So, what does tonight's episode hold for the residents of Brookside Close? Hankies at the ready? Perhaps. Let's find out from actors Sue Jenkins and Dean Sullivan. <laughs> Jackie, she's putting up with all this misery. Why'd she <laughs> stick with them? Should we tell them? I think you should let the cat out of the bag, yeah? The real reason. She loves him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she loves him. Even though he's putting her through all this Even though, yes, nightmare. because... It's hard to believe, they, isn't it? Well, they go back over 20 years and there's a great bond between them and it's very hard to, as a lot of people who write to me say, you know, you don't always choose the man that you're going to need to be with. They can't live with each other, but they can't live without each other and, and I think that's the problem for them, really, isn't it? Yeah. Speak. You can't speak. No, I think I think you put it in a nutshell <laughs> there. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, you know the lies. They keep coming year after year, and she still falls for them. And can, is anyone, do you think, quite that gullible? Why don't you tell me the real reason that we decided on a few years ago as to why they stick together? Because we want to pay the mortgage and the school fees. That isn't no, no, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, because, oh, I know yeah. what you're saying. Because we think the, the bit of them that nobody sees mm. is behind closed doors. They have a very good um, life, you know, secretly. Sex life. Yes, yeah. well, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> she's very shy. Look, she's a lady to the last. Yes. You don't want to say sex life. You think they've got a good sex life. We know they have. Yeah. Mm. Well, well, it's, the only, it's, it's the only redeeming feature that they've got, yes. I think. There has to be something that... Yeah, we never ever see them sort of... Well, we would hardly see them kissing or anything on screen. Well, we have had kisses, haven't we? Yes. I mean, yeah. And they've been memorable soap moments, we feel, don't we? Mm. Yes. <laughs> I mean, Jimmy's a very lovable rogue, I suppose, but mm. he seems to have a very shady past but still be popular. For many, many years, he has been on the wrong side of the law. He usually is. <laughs> oh, but he's not. He's not the sort of villain who would hit... An old age pensioner of the head and steal a handbag. You know, has he not done that? It's a bit old. <laughs> no, yet. that's one of the things he has done. Actually, if you keep watching, that's <laughs> I think of him as a latter day Robin Hood who steals from the rich to give to the poor. Mm -hmm. And he's got a lot of um, very good um, qualities about him. His philosophy in life is just to help his family, his wife, and his children now that are in the show, mm. and to give them the best. And unfortunately, the only way he knows how to do that is to. Um, Steal Max Farnham's car, for want of a better <laughs> instance, example. Yeah. And he had it coming, though, didn't he? And I think Jackie sees that too, you mm. see, because she knows that his heart is in the right place. Mm. She knows that when he tries to acquire all this money, it's actually to give her a good life, which she's never managed to do so far. But she doesn't know that's the reason behind it. Oh. Did you have to do quite a lot of research for, for learning about what it's like to be on drugs? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I did... Um, I spoke to counsellors and ex-addicts, but in the end, really, I needed to speak to people who were still actually taking drugs, and it was very, very frightening and eye-opening. I mean, I don't think really, in general, the public realise just how big the drug problem in this country is. You must have had preconceived ideas of what it might be like. Was it even worse? Oh, yes. Worse? I mean, the preconceived ideas are always that a drug addict is, you know, some emaciated youth who lies in a gutter with a needle hanging out of his arm, you know, and nothing could be further from the truth. And I think we touched upon this in our story about in as much as we tried to show that there were a lot of middle-class uh, people holding down responsible jobs, as well as unemployed young people, uh, who were also involved in that scene. Sue, do you ever think about uh, youngsters perhaps finding it something interesting and wanting to go into it more than, more than putting them off? No, I, I think Brookside shows very clearly the heartbreak that they, you know, cause. And I know from my own children, although they're obviously very young at the moment, it, it, it kind of teaches them in a way that they're on a hiding to nothing. That Brookside, I think, has very cleverly shown that drugs, however much the... the, the um, 
the, the initial buzz is or whatever, it can only lead to disaster, and I think we've shown that very well. What, what has been the most sort of distressing scene for you so far to do? For me to play? Oh, Kissing I think... Ron Dixon. <laughs> 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 um, well, we have a sneak preview of what we're going to see later tonight. Mom? Jimmy! What the...? Jimmy, what are you doing? What am I doing? He's on the rob. That's what he's doing, right, Sunshine? I'm following the police. Stay back there, Jimmy. All right, son, take Jimmy. it easy. Jimmy, shut it. Just shut it, you. Don't you dare. Don't you dare what? Look at you. You're just as bad as me, Dad. You're both as bad as each other. Jimmy. Carrying on like animals. Is it any wonder my head's done in? Listen, well, you and Dad, you're nothing. Listen, Lord. No, no, you listen right. You're nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What's all this about kissing Ron? Come I on. know, I know. Well, somebody had to is do it. Is this bringing know? out the best in Jackie as a, as a woman, do you think? She I'm closing my ears to this, because yes, Jimmy knows do, nothing do, about do, this. Do. She, she needed a shoulder to cry on, and Ron and Jackie go back over, you know, many a long year as a, a good friendship, a good plateau that they've reached. And basically, his marriage is going a little bit awry, and so is hers, of course, and the problems with little Jimmy. So she turns to him, as anybody would, to the local shopkeeper. <laughs> now, Carol, if you fall for that one... Uh -huh. well, she's falling for everything fool. else. She's got yeah. It's all to do with sex. That's what no, it's not. About. No, this is the thing. There is no lustful thing. It's... it's well, not It looks pretty lustful no, to no, me. No, no, no. <laughs> but, you know, it, well, think these things do happen, don't they? You can turn to somebody as a friend, and, and, uh, and, and it develops from there. And I think Ron sees more into it. Than, mm. than Jackie does. Do you find love scenes difficult to do as an actress? No, I don't. <laughs> no, she says no. No, no, I don't because... Not with because, me. No, not with you. No, uh, no, I don't, to be honest. Um, I mean, as long as they smell nice and they're vaguely kind of, you know, acceptable. That's and you've fine. gargled before. And we gargle and I hand you down the ring. No. You, no, before we do a kiss, we always pass the gargle. Between no, us. really? Yeah. <laughs> But, but, no, but the thing is, I don't, I mean, you know, Because we don't live together, really, you know, in real life. He doesn't life. let me speak. Have you noticed I don't get a word in edge? Eight, eight, very lads. good. No. Um, is that your audition piece? <laughs> Ever hopeful. Yeah. Actually, her Liverpool accent's very Not good. Bad. Should we have a Go word, Well, think? that was A. What's B? Be A, yourself. Um... I've forgotten what we're saying now. <laughs> no, no, I don't find them difficult because, of course, obviously over the years, you know, you do, as an actress particularly, I think, play a lot of, mm. of, of sort of kissy scenes and things. So, no, I think they're quite uh, acceptable. Really. I know you can't tell me the kind of nitty-gritty about what's going to happen over the, the rest of this week, but if you had carte blanche and you were the writers, what would you really like to happen? Completely outrageous if you had... To Jimmy and Jackie? Yeah. Well, I personally would love them to... Um win the lottery and go on a Caribbean cruise. <laughs> and we, uh, the viewers go with them. Yes. So we'd so film we in all the these location. exotic locations. Yeah. Would you take yeah. Cracker? Oh, of course, Cracker. Well, Cracker's just here. That's yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Cracker goes everywhere with me. And, yeah, I mean, I think, if, if I'm honest, I think I would be happy to see Jimmy and Jackie um, start all over again. Not run off with Max Farnham or anything like that? No. Yeah. What? what what Jimmy run off with me? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I think um, no. I mean, he's lovely, but yeah. um, I just I think I'm a romantic at heart, you know. And yeah. I think Jackie's loyalty has got to win mm. through. That's what mm. I would like. Dean, you've been 11 years in the series now. Nearly 11 years. Isn't that yeah. almost professional suicide? Now you're going to be so typecast as, as Jimmy. Is it hard to do anything else? Well, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm a great believer in. Um, if people look at your work, whoever they may be, casting directors or theatre directors, and if they think that, uh, judging by the work that you do, that you are a good actor, whatever that means, I think that if they think that you're good enough to do that, then you would be good enough for other parts. Mm. I mean, you can't... It, it's a difficult one, because you always, for any actor, when a part in a soap comes up, they're not going to actually sit down and say, well, I don't think I'll take this just in case I get typecast. You know, usually when the part comes up, it's... You're out of work and you're waiting for that sort of or, break on television. Or it, it can were. just be two episodes. You know, you can yeah. get, as, as indeed my character did, just went in for two episodes. So you really don't think Still along those lines. You nearly missed out completely, didn't you? Yes, I did, because I was... Because um, I said it, I didn't want you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I was actually working at the BBC and, uh, and Mersey Television were auditioning that very day and it had to apparently be on that very day. So I said, oh, I'm sorry, I can't get there. And so they saw lots of people and... Uh, Apparently, didn't find the right person for Jackie. Um, and, and I read with all much of them. to my pleasure. And and the next day, they said we still haven't found anybody. Would you like to come along? So, 
And my agent said, you've got a second bite of the apple. That was the phrase he used. Not so the I cherry. went feet. No, it was the apple, oh, he no. said, actually. <laughs> just and, married um, couple. <laughs> <laughs> so I went along and, and that was lovely. And, and he said, No, I will not work with that woman. But we wanted to. said, Over my dead body. <laughs> and then he offered you lots of money and it was all. No, she was actually <laughs> the only actress uh, to read for the part of Jackie Corkle that I didn't read with. I was in on auditions. <laughs> and at the end of it, they said, Well, who do you think? And I went, Well, um, none of them really. Mm. It, was just, it was just one of those things. Yeah. It was like, if, you know, if it had come down to me, I'd have said, Well, keep looking for it. And there was then no when physical they told attraction me, with the others. Was yeah, what, what was that about her then? Well, when they'd, no, when they'd offered Sue the part, I mean, Sue and I were actually in um, a youth theatre group in Liverpool years and years ago, weren't we? Mm -hmm. Many years ago. And, um, and I'd seen her on a few things on TV, and I knew that, obviously, she was in Coronation Street as Gloria. And um, I never knew that one day we'd be working together. And when they said to me, well, we found Jackie Corkill. So I said, oh, yes, who is this? And they said, well, it's an actress called Sue Jenkins. I said, oh, no, Sue Jenkins, yes, I know her work. Be interesting to see what happens. There. See how she improves. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you think it worked out? Well, I'm so. glad you went into acting for one, both of you, in fact, well. ladies and gentlemen. Big thank you to Dean Sullivan and Sue Jenkins. Thank you.